so I just went 10 inches actually I went more than 10 inches because I measured 10 inches first but then I realized I wanted my design just between these two designs so I want to fit it right here in I think the entire design goes about seven inches high so it actually is going to fit right between here so I'm just going to keep it here and since this is a woven blanket I'm going to be using water soluble on the top of it to keep my stitches from sinking and I just got two layers of tear away that's all I'm using I actually hoop one and just floating the other one layer that's why it's on the top I'm floating one layer and I hook the other layer and I'm just floating my blanket I found the middle of my blanket and match it to the middle of my stabilizer in the hoop and I just pin it down in four corners as you can see I'm not using any spray glue to the adhesive I just pin it down there and I'm going to start first doing the, the athletic letters which is going to be using this fabric and some uh, glitter vinyl. With our placement stitch done, I'm going to peel off the area sheet from my glitter vinyl. And I'm going to place it on top of the placement stitch. Let me use this part. So the placement stitch is already there. It's there to show you where your letter is going to be. So now I'm putting my vinyl in that space. And you can use adhesive if you want to. But I, I do use adhesive sometimes. But for this blanket project, I'm really not using adhesive I've just been pinning a lot instead of using any adhesive on there because it's laying flat I mean so I don't see no need for so now we're just gonna go with the tag down for this I skip the change of color I'm just gonna keep going with the black because I want my black borders to show and if I use the white since I'm using white little vanilla I'm kind of worried it's not gonna show up it's not gonna be really visible like I want it so I think let me go with the black on the white vanilla that's why I didn't change my color So it's done tacking down the fabric so now I'm just gonna trim this fabric and my uh, I'm gonna trim the fabric out of here now and then we'll continue so I can have from my length roller guys so I'm using tip I 
and when you're doing this you actually need a land ruler because that's it can be messy especially i'm working with velvet That's what our leather looks like. So I'm going to do the rest of them. I'm just going to trim it off and do the rest of them. So now to do the rest of the design. I'm going to add my water soluble stabilizer. And this is just a leftover. That's what I do with my scraps. I don't throw them away i keep them for smaller projects so like this one i just need to pin this down right here because i'm just doing and not even this big anyway it's not gonna be that wide maybe i should go this way since it's not gonna be that wide yeah. so i'm just gonna pin it over there and it pins. So I pin down my water soluble stabilizer. And I'm just going to go ahead. Oh, my bobbin thread. Uh, I hate this. Okay, so I had to replace my bobbin. Finally, we're done. 